Whatever. Am I doing the Lapis of the Amethyst? I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, well, my name is Fox or not until then. And I'm at Fox. And I just finished watching... Gee, this is my hair. I just finished watching Steven U the newest episode of Steven Universe. Um, the new Crystal Gems. That episode I've been wanting to see for a bit. When I, well, when I first read what the title, I'm just like, Fuck yeah, we're going to get some Lapis Paradigms and Connie together. Um, and we freaking did. Lapis is awesome. Um, basically, short synopsis. Um, it takes place right after um, Steven calls um, Connie... Well, it's after all the events, but it talks about what happened between the events where Steven, where Steven called Connie and told her, you know, protect Beach City. They head, to, they head back to Beach City, but she turns out she's not alone at the house when Lapis and Peridot are there. And it turns... And Lapis and Peridot... <laughs> I freaking... I freaking love because Connie, like, busts into the bathroom and goes, Yeah! With the sword! And they're, like, in the bathroom, like, Peridot's in the toilet, swimming around, and I was like, don't you knock, weirdo? <laughs> just like, ah. Like, there's a lot of, you know, the whole fish out of water, and you even talk about lapis, but not, I don't mean that as a pun, but a fish out of water stories, you always have, like, they don't understand how this works. And you've seen that done multiple times, you know, whether it be, like, movie Thor or so, you know, many cartoons. Like, they don't understand, or, like, say it's a caveman or something like that. They don't understand. They're mesmerized by certain things. This feels a little bit more like, yeah, they're alien. They're alien to this world, but they're not dumb about it. And also, because of... And because it's just freaking funny. It's like, it's like this is where I'm... This is like, I guess where she was in the toilet trying to escape once. It's just freaking funny, like, like parents like, or lab just goes, don't you knock? One, knowing that for a bathroom you're supposed to knock, and then two, the part just going, weirdo, when she's sitting in front of Paradise in the toilet trying to spin herself around. I hope Steven cleans that. <laughs> ah, but anyways. That's Connie, Connie, Paradot. Oh, and Paradot and Lapis say that, you know, the Crystal Gems told them they have to protect Beach City. And Connie says, Steven said, they have to protect Beach City. And then Paradox has a great idea. Let's be the new Crystal Gems. Let's save this plant. Let's um, protect Beach City as the new Crystal Gems. And um, Connie's like, yeah. And then Paradox goes, all right. We have to each, we have to each do a um, thing that the Crystal Gems work so well because each um, does their own role. So they say they have to fill the role. So Paradox goes, I'll be guarded. <laughs> Lapis goes. And Garnet and Paradox says, Connie will be Steven, <laughs> Pumpkin will be Pearl, and then Lapis will be Amethyst. Which. Which one, if Lapis is any of them. If Lapis is any of the Crystal Gems, I would assume she'd probably make a better Pearl. If only because. Lapis seems like she'd be able to calm some of them down, but then again, at towards the end of this, maybe not. But no, but Lapis seems like she she and Pearl would be a little bit more a better fit. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Lapis holds some hate towards Pearl, if only because of the whole you know the mirror kind of belonged to Pearl beforehand, and Pearl never thought to let Lapis out. So, but yeah, um, but Lapis is amethyst. And the thing is, when I saw, like, clips of this uh, episode, I always, I, when I saw clips of this episode everywhere because I was trying to find it, um, La Amethyst's hair was, like, or Lapis's hair was all messed up and, like, covering one of her eyes. I'm just like, is she trying out a new look or something? Or, like, are they trying to, like, get, like, what? I kind of was hoping they were going to do, like, um, Lapis and Paradox were both going to try to, form their crystal gem uniforms because you know everyone's saying you know they have to have a star but um but no it's just it, to fit kind of like amethyst hairstyle a bit <laughs> basically their first job after they hear someone yelling help they go to the car wash where the mayor's son i forgot his name um has the mayor mobile and needs it clean because some people vandalized it and paradigm and lapis and connie and 
Um, pumpkin. The pumpkin's pearl. Because they don't like pearl, I guess. I think Paranaut's alright with pearl. Lapis, I'm pretty sure, just does not like her. And I really, actually, I extremely love Lapis in this. Because she's just cold. I don't care. And I love it. I really do. The points where, like, one, I love seeing Connie and Paradox kind of work off each other a little bit. But also, Lapis is just like, <laughs> oh, first off, before, um, Connie, I think Connie was the one who said they need to form the new Crystal Gems. And can we do a team? And Lapis just goes, what makes you think we need you? And I was thinking, <laughs> like, that's freaking funny. It's kind of mean, but it is funny. And I'm just an a-hole for saying that, I'm pretty sure. I like Connie, too, and I love Lapis, but that, that was just like, hmm. And then, I forgot what it was, but Lapis said a joke, and she's like, I'm joking. Uh, but it was, and the part is like, you're getting into character. But anyways, uh, the car is dirty, so what they do is, Paradise uses her magnet ability, because apparently she's getting stronger at it, picks up the truck, and Lapis uses the water and just whoosh, washes it completely, puts it back down. Hmm. Um, Mayor's Dewey's Dewey's son is like, wow, awesome. They leave, and they and all and all four of them go good. And then Paradox goes, good job, Crystal Gems. Also, Paradox wearing sunglasses because you know, garnet. Um, so they head back home the next day. Um, uh, apparently Connie was just sleeping in Stephen's bed. Uh, sending Lapis and Paradox out into the temple. Huh, that's actually a good question. Or were they just sleeping on the couch, or just hanging out on the couch? Uh, couch. Unless they do choose to sleep. But anyways. Um, so next is beeping and honking. They all head back to the car wash. Um, there's a long row of cars and they're saying, Encore! Encore! They're like, well, yeah, I know. In Paradise, like, one, it took me like two to three minutes to get part to this part because I kept pausing the video. I'm like, ah, oh, Perry, I know where this is going. Please don't. But Paradise like, there you for the yard. He picks up the car. Um... I can't really remember what the fuck. I, they, they try to pick up the car, and then Lapis starts using her water abilities. Oh, yeah, use her water abilities, cleans it up, and Paradox like, oh, Amethyst, you're, 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 uh, and I do mean Amethyst, but she does say it, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, Amethyst, your, your performance is lacking. She's like, huh? And he's like, just crack a joke. And like, oh, starts to spray water at everyone, and Paradox like, that's not funny. <laughs> That's not a joke. Your counter's like, yeah, yeah, and the fist, that's not funny. And it's like, and then <laughs> and Lapis shoots Connie with a burst of water. And says, eh. <laughs> Which one? To be fair, if Amethyst had Lapis's ability, she'd probably do that. Especially season one Amethyst. Season one Amethyst would definitely do that. Um. But they get a little, they get kind of angry. Um, Paradox, uh, Lapis stops, I believe, and, um, Amethyst, and Paradox is holding the truck up in the air. <sighs> and, um, the kids are like, the, uh, who is it, Sour Cream, what's his face, and, uh, not Cece, but her sister, um, go, hey, can we get our car back? And Paradox like, don't question the car in or something like that, drops the car, and then decides to pick up the other one, which was which has um, Onion's father in it. Uh, holds it up in the air. I think like Paradox like don't question the guy. Blah, blah, blah. And but Lap but they're like saying um maybe Lap is like maybe we should stop this or switch or whatever. I forgot who said it. I think it was Connie. And maybe we should take turns or say someone should switch and like Lap is like yeah I'll be the garnet. Summons water from the ocean and grabs the freaking truck. And I was thinking, okay, what part of this is Garnet? And uh, <laughs> in the in the end of this, you would still be the one washing the car because you're the one with the water powers. <laughs> um, Paradox like, no, I want to be Garnet. And it's kind of the whole, um, if you ever seen two kids grab a toy and pull it back and forth like that, except there's a guy in the car. <laughs> um, I just follow it, jumps out. The car is getting pulled back and forth. And um, accidentally throws it into the little car wash uh, sign of the the neon car wash sign. Lapis and um, Paradox fight a bit until Connie's like, um, I have to be Steven. I have to be Steven. And she goes, 
can't we just can't we stop this because we we love each other and you love me and we should do this for love and and what happens and Bernard's like Stephen would have had a better speech than that <laughs> oh do you see the problem here yet guys do you at all oh yeah I've seen this one before but I oh, okay I'll bring this up a bit later but um so it's kind of like, hmm but um, everyone else, we, I th- and Priya, everyone else, they head back to the house, and they start bickering a bit. Like they were saying, like they start saying, like, "Hey, you have to be the end. I'm the garden." And she's like, "And Lapis is like, what do you mean? Oh wait, one Lapis does her best garden impression when I freak out. She goes, "I'm the garnet. And if anything, that's what his best I could do. <laughs> I'm the god now. Deja vu too. Um. Mm brain hurt but um so i'm trying to think so they start bickering and they're saying paradox you should be the per- or paradox tells lapis you should be the pearl and she's like what and she's like no how about i be the garnet and you be the pearl you be the pearl you're more most like her and paradox like pearl stuck up in this this and this and i'm nothing like that and i'm like one, also, mind you, I've, I've seen more fan art of Peridot. Um, and so there's some of it of her dressed up as Invader Zim. My lord, does it fit. <laughs> Too well. <laughs> but they start bickering, and Connie says, Enough! And says, I can't believe... You know, it's tough being... I'm no, not even Steven. I have to be patient. I have to be this. I have to be that. For a bunch of gem children or something like that. And Black is like, well, we're thousand we're ten well, we're thousands of years old. And Connie goes, then act like it. Which one, the whole age act like it thing. He, this this part I a the that little thing like, you know, act your age, I take not offense to, but like I'd say like that all depends a little bit. Like one if someone's having fun doing something that's quote unquote immature, like let's say I don't know, well people would say some video games, but um, Roger, I'm trying to think of a good example of this, just screwing around basically. People are just screwing around. Is it at your age? Why they're having fun? They're not really. It's not like saying go hurt something. No, I'm not saying that. But you know, just having fun or something like that, or like, me and my brother going outside playing with Nerf guns, especially since we, like, screwing around, just, <laughs> like, we have wanted levels of Nerf gun battles sometimes, <laughs> just say, act your age, why, but no, this case, it's, this is bickering, this is fighting with each other for stupid reasons, this is another, this is a way that I'll say, okay, Connie, I'll let that, I'll let that slide a little bit of act your age, especially since a thousand-year-old gem, how exactly are you supposed to act? Mind you, I guess you're supposed to act godly and, like, you know everything, but obviously they don't know everything. But, um, the gem, the two are like, okay, and Connie says, why don't we be, we're not really the crystal gems, we're the temp gems, but if we're going to be the temp gems, we should at least do it our way. Be up, be us, you guys be the gems you've been for thousands of years, and, uh, I be, you know, her, she be, whatever, and Lapis, and I shouldn't be Steven, I should be me. And Lapis goes... That's a good Steven speech. And Paradox, and Connie just goes, watch it. And they're the Crystal Temps. Which, um, which was actually, that was a cool, that was a cool little scene. I want to see more of the Crystal, the new Crystal Temps. I don't want to say the Crystal Temps, because that just feels less, that feels like they're lesser than the original, which, again, Lapis kind of almost beat all of them by herself. With that in the ocean. But, um... Also, mind you, I forgot to mention. When Lapis and Connie meet each other, um, Paradox goes... Go <laughs> on, Paradox goes, This is Connie, um, Steven's third best friend behind me and you. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys think of yourself... Or Paradox thinks of herself highly, doesn't she? <laughs> the, and, but, um, what is it? I do like the... What, what is it? Lapis go... Lapis, not, Connie's like, we've met before. We've met before to Lapis, and Lapis goes, "No, I'm, I don't think I remember you." <laughs> She's like, "Really? You, 
you, you try to steal the ocean, you, you try to drown me. And Lapis goes, I tried to drown a lot of people that day. Which one is pretty good that the show is straight up saying, yes, Lapis tried to kill people. Because there's, you could go on the internet, you could find a couple, like, pictures of Lapis with, like, a billboard that says, I tried to drown, I tried to steal the oceans, I tried to drown Steven, I tried to shatter his, shatter his gem moms, um, I took the ocean, I would have killed the entire world, then flipped the board again, but, uh, or put it on another board, and just goes, but the internet forgave me. <laughs> but the internet said it was fine. Well, and I, just, I do like to show that itself saying, yeah, Lapis tried to kill the world. <laughs> or not really kill the world, kill the gems at least. She wanted to use the ocean to get off of Earth. Which I actually wonder how far she would have gone. Like, let's say she stood, like, let's say she has, like, you know, enhanced gem balance. And she stood on, like, a pin, she'd be able to stand on a pin needle. How long would she be able to stretch the water of the Earth? Until, like, she was, like, on the tip of a pin needle. Like, someone should really look that up. I would actually like to know, like, would she get to the moon? Or would she, like, be, like, partially, probably halfway? Probably not. She probably wouldn't even get to the moon. Maybe, actually. The world's a big place, and the ocean's pretty long. It takes up most of it, so she might be able to get to the moon if she stretched it out to, like, pin needle length. But anyways. Um. Trying to, but, yeah, this... This, and then, like, at the end, they all do a pose. With, they'll do the crystal Patem pose, and I'm just like, crystal gem pose, and just, their own poses, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty, freaking awesome. Oh, I want to see more. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh, I want to see more Lapis. I want to especially because I love, Lapis is so much, she is an a-hole a little bit in this, but I still love her because, one, there is a perfectly good reason why she's an a-hole. She's been trapped under the water with someone she hates. Not to mention there's the whole thing where Jasper says that, that Lapis is a monster and that she knows Lapis better than anyone else. So we might actually see a little bit. Not to mention also seeing Lapis and Peridot trying to fix the car and then start fighting with each other. I looked at that two ways. One, it's a way that these gems really don't understand Earth that well, so they really don't know. This is a bad thing. And also another thing saying like, this kind of reminds me of, like, those episodes of cartoons where the bad guys turn good, but they really can't change their ways all that much. I feel it's kind of similar, like, a middle between that. They're used to their, how they used to be, but they need to kind of, they, they're used to, you know, they, they're not, one, they're trying to be the Crystal Gems. That's the first biggest problem. They're trying to do that, and it's not good. And they're not also not paying attention to everyone around. They're only being thinking about themselves at this right now. Um, which isn't good on that part either. Then, what is it? Also, I will say that when Connie said, you should be the gems you've been for thousands of years. Lapis has been stuck in a mirror for thousands of years. You might want not to bring that up. <laughs> or, better or better yet, um, Homeworld really wasn't the best place to be anyone because you're kind of, you know, uniform, stuck in line, stuff like that. But, either way. The, uh, it's still pretty awesome. I would love to see... Like, I would love to hear that, like, maybe Connie, Lapis, and Peridot went, in and out, went on an adventure and then come back and tell Steven the story. That way we kind of see the story happening. I would love to see more of Crystal Gems B, the, the new Crystal Gems, going off doing their, doing their own little missions and stuff like that. Maybe, like, you know, the next couple mi episodes or whatever, we can have, like, um, I'm pretty sure we're not going to right now, but we can have the Crystal the Crystal Gem B, B team, like, going on missions that, like, maybe lack, um, per Pearl, Garnet, and Amethyst put in. Kind of like how we had, um, Connie and Steven doing, like, their own mission together, and that's Connie's first mission. We can kind of have their own missions, like, going to go fight some cr corrupted gems, or maybe even the, um, the Cluster Rejects, the, uh, the messed up ones. Um, I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Lap it! Crystal Gems! Thanks for watching on the videos, and we will see you later. We are the Crystal Gems. Yeah, I saved the day. Am I doing the Amalapis?